and then we can rescue the lumber or the the carpenters and then that lets us do the mass quest I think and uh, I don't know anything else Nocturne of Shadow is what you're gonna call it? Sure. I'll call it the Kakariko song. Hey horse, where are you? The desert is your favorite area? I don't like the desert so much, but um... The Gerudu village or whatever they call it, is pretty cool. And the spirit temple's pretty cool. But the desert in between the two... Uh... Horse. Alright. Please, horse. I forgot how fiddly her controls were in this game. I know the big the big pole quest will take a fair bit of time. It's fair. Oh, does this not trigger until? I think you have to finish the water temple for this to trigger. Then, unless it's at night or something. Because I normally just play through the game in normal order. Yeah, because there'd be a cutscene here when you enter, but it must not happen until after you finish uh, the Lake Helia stuff. I mean, that's fair. I thought it was after you did the... Uh, I think it's maybe after the Water Temple and after you do the... The Shadow Temple as a kid, or the, the Well as a kid, but... Oh well, no big deal. Unless you need to be a kid get the song. No, you get the song as an adult, for sure. Why didn't Ganondorf ruin Kakariko Village? He does! That's part of, this, part of the game. He just hasn't ruined it yet. Anyway, I'm gonna go listen to Ka uh, the Gerudu Valley song, anyway. I'm not 100% sure... Like, again, it's been so long since I've played the game, it's, it's hard to know. Oh, that's uh, one of the... It's already gone. <laughs> that's one of the big poses. We could have tried to kill it. I thought you needed a hammer to get back here. Interesting. I know you needed a pony at the very least, anyway. Oh, the hammer's for the other side. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Horse! <laughs> this is so much easier in the more recent Zelda games with better horse controls. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. There you go, good job. Alright, so this guy asked you to save his craftsman that got, uh, that got kidnapped, basically. Gerudu Fortress, yeah. Well, oh, they, they wanted to become thieves. Oh, interesting. I don't think it worked out for them so well. This is the guy that we'll want to sell a mask to. But I guess we have to beat him in the race first. We can't sell it as an adult anyway. Or maybe we I don't know. Anyway, I knew where he was. I just... The details. The details. Let's go smash some rocks. When in doubt, smash rocks. Sneaky chest. I needed that money, that's beautiful. 
Is that... No, there's gonna be a, uh, a spider here. I remember the spider. There we go. You know, I feel like... Oh, too slow the chest. Too, too slow. Don't worry, there's lots of chests in uh, the Drudu Fortress. Assuming we can do anything in here, um, there's lots of chests. If we can get to the training course, there's like 10 treasures. But that will require rescuing all of the, uh, the, the carpenters. So if we get captured, we get thrown into prison. I'm not sure if we can get out of prison without the long shots. But I guess we'll find out. So let's see, how do we sneak around this place safely? She'll never see me. Actually, you can shoot them with arrows, right? That's what I should be doing. Let's make sure I've got arrows ready to go for uh, stealthiness. All right, so we're in the hideout. Hey you, young man. Look over here. Hey dude, I see you're in jail. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all those guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay our f the favor somehow. But be careful, there's sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Like right behind you! Alright. Did you learn how to fight with combat? Oh no. Alright. What's the trick? <laughs> She's really good. There we go. This is where you find out if Link's a true swordsman. If only she had 15 hearts like I did, she would be she'd be able to win. There we go. Dead. <laughs> it's a pretty good fight. I like these I like these girls. Hey man, if you think you could fight all these uh, Gerudo chicks with their dual wielding scimitars and stuff, you go right ahead. <laughs> these these carpenters, they don't even have a sword. I don't know how they'd have a chance. They wanted to join the all female group but got locked up. I mean, I guess I could see how this happened. All right, one down, three to go. And he, I mean, you can see why they uh, maybe locked him up. It's that prancy run. They don't like that. Now, if I remember correctly, you can shoot some of these masks. Maybe? I'm not sure what that accomplished, but it made a sound, so I did it. We'll see what happens if we, if we, if we shoot all the masks. Alright, let's continue. We came in that door, we'll go this way. Yeah, let's Which is good, because it leads us to the next door. So I'm pretty sure if you take this route, the, uh, the dungeon is fairly linear, although there's lots of ways to sort of shortcut around it. Forget if I should go up first or, you know, around that other corner, but we'll see. Ah! 
Take that. All right, well, we found at least one more height, uh, one more locked, one more jail cell would probably be the word. I have no idea what, the, what shooting those does. It just makes the happy sound. All right, we're all healed up. We ate a bunch of hearts. Hey you! Listen! I have no idea where you come from, but uh, good luck against the Drudu guards. Please skip. Please skip. I know... I know, you guys would love to be rescued. They're always right behind me, aren't they? I guess it might be just faster just to do normal attacks. Wait, what? What? She hit me once! I forgot about that. <laughs> I definitely did not remember that. That you get hit once and you get thrown in jail. Jeez. Cheaters! It was going so much better that time. Alright, the good news is I don't need the long shot. And also, hello, Shadow. Very good accuracy. There we go. Alright. Now also, I think can't you just make this side jump here if you if you're if you're clever? Certainly if you have the hover boots, but. Yeah, we don't need no hover boots. Those ladies are cheaters, is what they are. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was a headshot. I think she's probably dead. Why can't I just shoot them all with arrows? Seems like the smarter way to go. I'll be taking your rupees. Hover boots? No such thing. Are you are you gonna Is this a hook shot hook jump? Oh right, right, right. Look at this. Clever. Hey, that one gave you a heart. What about the uh, cool looking one? Sensitivity. The sensitivity is too high. That one gave you a rookie. Alright. Mm -mm. This time, no dying. Well, just no getting hit, I guess, really. So this takes us above. Oh, look at all that money. This just took us above the uh, jail cell, though, so that's not even very valuable. Oh, but I think maybe if you have the long shot, you could just go straight to there. Was that the, the sequence break that... Well, not sequence break, but... It's just a lot quicker if you can make that. Yeah, probably. All right, well, we've been through that path. It didn't take us anywhere. All right, so we'll just go through the same route we did last time. You were playing this on your phone. Well, cool. Nowadays, everyone just plays all their games on their phones. I am playing it on the computer, though. You know, I guess we didn't try this door. Let's check this one out first. Alright, it's another, uh, it's another battle. Different one, but now we know where three of these guys are at the very least. So we just gotta find one more. 
And there's no skipping text ever, because that would be asking for too much. There's sure to be guards around here. I guess it's basically her jump attack. If you get hit by that, you just lose automatically, which kind of sucks. Come on. There we go. Much better. Don't try your fancy flips on us. We're... <laughs> We're too cool for backflips. Alright, with my cool blue mail. You're a cute kid. Look, man. I think you're in the wrong castle. These guys join just to work with the girls. And then he's all excited about Mr. Cute Link. He almost got a Gerudo Thief as a tattoo. That's not the worst idea, I guess. You can see that, I guess. Okay, which side did we come in from? I forget. I do not remember. We definitely came in from the other side. Okay, so before we go up there, I'm pretty sure that's the way to the fourth, uh, the fourth guy. We should be able to go back to the, uh, the one we lost at pretty quickly this way. So violent. I know they just get knocked. I get the little stars like they're just uh, dazed, but it sure feels like we're killing them with arrows. Have I seen the Unreal Engine version? No. I'll take your word for it. Just keep the pressure on. Get her knocked against the wall where there's plots. <laughs> Honestly, the aggressive link works pretty well, too. Well, we're still a fair ways away from Twin Rova, unfortunately. Alright, that's three carpenters down, one to go. Now we just gotta find the last one. So we came in from the lower section, I think, so we'll head upwards. Yeah, and see how this links up with, uh, I'm pretty sure that the door we came out of would have led us this way after we did, like, the other carpenter, so. I think everything leads to this room. Where you basically have to murder some girls. I mean, uh, knock them unconscious. G you give them a nap. There we go. Sleepy time. And I think that way actually leads to another split, too. We could have gone back around that way. Everything leads to this, this climb here. Do I know about the dolphin emulator? Well... Joke's on you. What am I playing right this second with all of these HD full screen 30 FPS hacks? I, I forgot to put it on 30 FPS mode again. Anyway, 
We're back on 30 FPS. I guess we either need to hop down... Oh no, we can just make this jump. This is easy. What am I doing? Just killing these guys. Because the original Ocarina of Time does not look like this at all. We are definitely using a few modifications. Alright, now I'm not 100% sure if this will work, but we're going to try. Because I'm also quite certain that you're meant to have the long shot. But I think if we're just very, very careful, I think we can make this shot. There you go. It's pretty close to the limit, but uh, we sort of sequence broke a tiny little bit. All right, now we're just gonna find that last carpenter. Where is the last carpenter? It's probably the most roundabout room in the in the uh, temple. Most lag possible. Wasting all my arrows here. Oh, was it, uh, was the way you were supposed to do this room, maybe I was thinking wrong, maybe the way you're supposed to do this room is to hop across here. Maybe not. <laughs> Can you not make that jump? I guess not. Okay, so this... This might be the way. This might be the way. No. We've been through there. We are... At least... A good portion of the way through the game. The normal ways... Oh, is there a hookshot point? Oh, I didn't even see that. Good call, Rides. Good call. I forgot about the hookshots. Yeah, the little wooden beams you can shoot, I guess. The question now is just where's my final, uh, my final jail cell, because I'm not remembering. Could be like a drop down. Like, you come out, and then you drop down and go into a, one of those weird side passages. Is aimbot on? What aimbot? There's no such thing as aimbot. Hmm. Did I come out of here yet? I feel like, yeah, this was the... The long corridor... Dang it! <laughs> but that just takes you back to the um, the kitchen again. I go through there. All right, where is the room I'm looking for? I feel like I almost always get stuck on one room in here, like one last carpenter every time. Maybe we'll shoot some of the guards out here. So... Sensitive. Man, not... not. I don't have the accuracy that I, I want. Just never gonna work. In the original. This is the original. What are you guys talking about? Hey, Jarrell, welcome. 
So last time I'm around this corner, they caught me. I need to, I need to replenish some arrows. Come on, I know there's a guard just waiting to come around and kill me. There we go, shot her in the hand. There we go, sniped. I mean, there should be places to restock your arrows anyway, so. What is this for? Is there a song that you can play here? Mm. Yeah, luckily we've got dumb guard AI. They don't notice when all their friends are, are asleep. Maybe a uh, song of time. Is Navi okay? No. She always gets confused and makes turns green. And I never know what you're supposed to do when she turns green. It's just like some annoying... Like Scarecrow spot, maybe? I'm kind of running out of ideas pretty quick. Anyway, let's head up here again. I feel like the final room has to be somewhere difficult to get to. We got the spider. You know what? It's probably right here. You drop down, you go to a room that you haven't been to yet. And you don't get caught by thieves. That's great. That is lovely. Saw me right through the wall. I'm fairly certain I'm on the right path right now, but I mean, I could be wrong. Because I remember having to go through this room a few times. Like, I'm pretty sure this was the key, was going through this uh, kitchen type room and then falling down into an area you normally can't get to, which I think is right here. Because you can't jump up to this area. Maybe you can. No, I'm pretty sure you can't jump up that. So the only way here is to fall down. I think. But, of course, I got caught as soon as we uh, started, so. There we go. Got a good angle on her head if she walks by. And I do sort of remember getting caught by that girl many times. Because it's a good newbie trap there. But I think we're good now. We're in the clear. A magic mask. What about the bull skull? Just a ruby. Alright, this is it. The last one. We're good. I did remember the basics of it. Hey you, young man. Rescue me. And this is like the, the chief of the carpet. No, not the chief. Just the last one. I have no idea, but I'm going to talk to you for five minutes until a druidu thief attacks you in the back. Maybe these guys are working for the thieves. There's sure to be guards somewhere around here. Alright, the final fight. Can we do it? Did we learn anything? Ah! 
I may have learned one or two tricks. <laughs> By the fourth one, I think I know how to kill them pretty fast. That's, that was pretty good. We might not be on speedrunner pace yet, but we're getting better. <laughs> Poor Gerudo ninjas. All right, get out of here, you dumb carpenters. In order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. Yeah, good thing we have that already. Actually, Rides, I think they do like aggressive guys. They locked up the ones that prance. They, uh, after you beat them up, they stop trying to lock you up, right? I've seen your fine work. To get past the gods here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men, besides the great Ganondorf, were useless. But now that I've seen you, I don't think so. The exalted Nabooru. Girlfriend number five. Put me in charge of the fortress. Nabooru is the second in command to the great Ganondorf. Her headquarters are in the spirit temple. She's at the end of the disc. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? All right then, you're in. Take this. With it, you will have free access. So that's really the trick, right? I can't remember if it's three hits Daubry or one jump hit. Because the jump hits tend to put you in jail often. But it, it could be just three any hits. I don't know. Point is, we're now a Drudu. Good for us, right? We're, we're a full-fledged Drudu thief. And now they'll no longer throw me in jail. So we can do some more stuff. Pretty much the old kill us to make friends. Anyway, now we can listen to our awesome music and we'll go do some uh, horse archery. Am I still doing the spirit temple? I don't have the long shot yet. We're not really supposed to. Did I bring my horse here? I forgot. I rode in here with Epona. Where'd she go? There we go. All right, Epona, time to show chat how awesome I am with horse archery. Yikes. At least we get the music back. The main goal right now is some side quests before we dare the water temple, to be honest. Alright, I might want to switch it back to 20 FPS mode to make this a little bit easier. Actually, I don't know if that'll help on this one. Actually, yeah. Because there's a timer, so the timer means you want 20 FPS generally. Just so it's easier. Alright, shoot the targets. We got lots of money. Fight the lag, shoot the targets. Alright, Epona. Get her going fast and forward. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Alright. 520, we only need to get a thousand. I remember this straight line is where you can get a lot of points if you're uh, good. Ah, we're good. No problem on round one. Which is good, because it gets a lot harder. <laughs> Alright, good start. Fantastico! We got a heart. Alright, let's try this again. Pretty sure you have to be on your horse to do the game. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a spider behind one of the targets at night, so... We'll have to do that when we're done. Please get on the horse. Thanks, Azure. That was the easy one, though. Alright, now we have to get way more points. But there's pots, and the pots will help. I think the pots are 100 a point. 100 a hit. Yeah, look at all those pots. Alright. Good luck, Epona. Oh, 
Oh, well, we missed a couple. 13 arrows left. Don't waste them. <laughs> Immediately waste it. We're probably going to have to do this one a couple times. It's definitely takes some, uh, some practice. I don't even have enough arrows to get a hut to get the score. We need a lot of hundreds, basically. We got 20 arrows. Um, so 20 arrows. We need 15 bullseyes, not counting some 60 pointers. But we got lots of money. So this is honestly this mini game. I don't mind. It's a little difficult, but it's fun. Should have just aimed at this one while we were getting closer. Alright, we're off to a good start. Bad shot. Bad shot. <laughs> one bullseye away from it. We were pretty close. If I was a little bit faster, we could have got that one. Alright, we got it. This time for sure. I think you should go for one bullseye and then try to get a couple... Man, those were some bad shots. If I hit those three, I'd be feeling pretty confident, but now we're in a bit of trouble. Bad aim. Yeah, I need three bullseyes. Miss! <laughs> well, we got worse. Look, we're, we're still in the ballpark. This is, this is no Megalovania. We'll be fine. It's not going to take three hours, I promise. Three hours of lag, if, if anything. Oh, no! Oh, bad start. Denied. There we go. I technically have enough arrows, but we gotta be real accurate. I could snipe that from long range. Oh. I was out anyway. All right, we keep getting lower numbers. Don't mind that. <laughs> Look, the Gerudo thief is quite impressed. We're fine. As long as she's impressed, we're, we're safe. Dang it. If you miss your uh, first pot shot, you're in a lot of trouble. That was a waste. I don't know what I was thinking there. Look, I don't... I hate you, pots. <laughs> we're going... We're going downhill. Now they're laughing at me. Now they're laughing. Time to get tilted. Should never take two shots on that. I mean, we're closer again. I mean, at least we improved. Maybe I'll try it. It's not. It's actually not timed. So I'll go back to 30 FPS. It might make aiming a little bit easier. I don't know. Maybe it's all a cutscene anyway. I don't know. Oh, no. There it goes. All right. Just 
one shot. All right, we have not missed an arrow yet. We're off to a really good start. Just don't mess it up, Blue. That was a mess up. Come on. Ah, I had to. <laughs> Dang. I had such a good start. I messed it up. I choked. Horse mini games, horse mini games. Really, the horse just makes the moving a little bit harder. Oh, maybe. How did I completely miss? Ah! <laughs> one good shot away again. It's harsh when you're like just one shot away. That's that's brutal. That was that one pod I missed at the beginning. I would have I would have had it. That's fine. A couple of 60s is no problem. You can keep track by how much money we've uh, got. All I need is a 60. We got it! Bam, bam, bam! That was 10 tries total, because we spent 20 gold, 20 rupees times... Well, one for the first one, and then nine tries on the the ultimate master. And there we go. Giganto Quiver. Sweet. Alright. That was fun. I mean... Took a little while to kind of get the hang of it. I actually think slowing the FPS down to 20 was a mistake. Um, I think it was easier back at 30 FPS mode. Thanks, guys. Alright. Pretty sure there's a spider behind here. Or at least on one of the sides. Maybe the other side. We'll get the spider, then we'll turn it back to the good music. Don't worry. No points. There it is. Ah. Opponent, just stop. Stop. That is exactly what I wanted to do. There we go. Alright. Um, is there any spiders in any of the boxes? I don't think so. I think there's, there's going to be a few in the training grounds. Leg chicken. There's, there's going to be a few, uh... Opponent, oh, she's just way over there. Uh, there's going to be a few spiders in the uh, in the actual ice ice arrow area. Now, we won't actually be able to finish the ice arrow, the training grounds yet. Because... You need... Oh, you need the hover boots, don't you? And you, can we even get in? Oh, you just pay money. Easy. Of course you can go in. But, uh, no, it's, uh... You might even need the silver bracelet for this. I forget. It's a picky dungeon. Another one of these green fairies. Is she 
called Epona because she's a digital horse? Mm. I'm assuming there's probably some translation for why it's Epona. Excellent, you got five rupees. And a bunch of arrows. One of those mystery green fairies that I don't know what they do. So we're going to try a couple songs. Is it just a... Well, if it's a, if it's a lens, a lens of truth... Don't worry, I'll remember eventually. Okay. It was the song, and it gave us a fairy. Those are the ones I always mess up, because there's definitely quite a few green fairies... That turn into uh, uh, if you pl if you play the song of storms, you get a a healing fairy. All right, so this is the main target. We need like, was it like ten, ten or more uh, small keys, and then we can get uh, the ice arrows. But like I was saying, I think some of the keys are going to be blocked by. Uh, items we don't have. We might need the fire arrows, we might need the silver bracelet. We have, and the long shot, you know, we've got most things. Also timers, you know. I don't really remember these guys having a cool outfit. When did those guys get cool, uh, a cool cape? Lens of Truth, eh? It might only work on big chests. Yeah, no luck on a small chest. We'll have to try a big chest to see if it works outside of the, uh, the, mid the, the chest game. Alright, one small key. Only 20 to go. Cross the Sea of Fire. So this kind of stuff might possibly need the hover boots for all of these. We'll see. Looks they have feathers to discover that they're dinosaurs. <laughs> so that was promising. All right, how are we going to get through this? Is that a, uh, maybe a stone of time block? It is, it is. All right, that might help a little bit. Maybe now I can make it across without the hover boots. We'll see. <laughs> Just jump right into the lava when you're 90 years old. That's how you die. I don't think I can make that jump to the fire, though. That's going to be almost certainly a hover boot jump, right? Or if you know bomb jumps, but I don't think that's going to be possible. And then you can hook shot to that one, assuming we've got a long enough hook shot. Wonder if I can jump up here. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? You can probably make that jump from there. Okay. We've still got a chance. Why did he not jump? Why? Link, you're sometimes you're a putz. <laughs> sometimes I wish they just gave us a dedicated jump button rather than giving us auto ledge jumps that sometimes don't work. Thank <laughs> you. 
But now that I'm here, I have to... <laughs> I can't make the jump off of that ledge, so... <laughs> I'm still not sure... Um, if this room is even possible yet. You're still playing Ogre Battle. Does grouping the Beastmasters with the Beasts make them stronger? It's kind of a complicated question. Um, so, every class in the game, including Beastmasters and Beasts, they have a compatibility score. That's long shot. I'm not going to be able to make it. All right. This room, I think, is going to require long shot or... Um, Long shot and or hover boots to actually com to complete normally. So we're not going to be able to open up that door on the, the other side. Uh, so anyway, as far as ogre battle is concerned, um, yes, but not noticeably. There's, like I was saying, there's kind of a compatibility score for every character. Between evil characters and good characters, they're sort of incompatible, so they get negative stats. Um... Like, if you, if you bring five wizards, they're compatible, because they're all wizards. Uh, and you want... It's, it's just... It's hard to know... Um, without looking at a guide, whether or not two classes are actually compatible. And I believe the Beastmaster is closer to the Beast side than the... Uh, um, than human side, basically. So a Beastmaster with uh, a bunch of beasts, they probably have good compatibility. This just takes us back to the beginning, which is actually where I wanted to go. And yeah, it. so the total compatibility scores of all the classes, uh, I can't remember the exact formula, but it it's really only a negative sort of thing. You don't really get bonus stats. It just decreases your stats if you're incompatible. Which is why sometimes a bunch of uh, fighters and are, uh, females, like male and female, they actually are surprisingly incompatible for some some combos. And then you get lowered stats for everybody. Hey, whatever works, right? We got him. Quicksand does suck you in. <laughs> Not very many areas have sand that drops like that. Alright, this is a get all the white... Right, this one. I kind of remember this one being a bit of a pain. Yeah, well. Because you don't get a whole lot of time. And I might not have a long enough hookshot for this as well. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I think we're just going to miss out on too many keys right now. There's... There might be like a, a couple spiders or, or small hearts in here we might be able to get. But without the long shot, I think just, there's just too much of this trial that's blocked off for us. So it's not really worth our time. It's kind of fun just playing around, but... We're never going to actually finish it. And we could head to the desert. We've got the Lens of Truth. I guess that means we could get the song. Maybe that's worth doing while we're here. I feel like there might be a spider up here too. If I came back at night. Now, we're supposed to be learning about the trials to cross the desert, but... It's fine. You guys, I'm sure, know the basics. 
<laughs> I didn't even listen. To the spooky desert we go. Beware, it's dangerous. Not as dangerous as being a sign in this world. Signs have very short lifespans. I really like the uh, the music. Oh no, we can't do this either. This is another long shot area. I forgot. Oh yeah. So yeah, probably need silver gauntlets. I, I was kind of just experimenting, but yeah, there's, there's going to be a couple things that... Unless you're really good at sequence breaking, you're just not going to really be able to do... Uh, without completing it in order, right? Like... We rescued the, the carpenters, that's good enough. We got our quiver upgrade and all that. That's pretty good. A good little side quest. But realistically, we're going to need to do the water temple. <laughs> yeah, the desert's kind of scary. There's lots of uh, traps, for sure. 